In this demo, we will create a parameterized report. So we're going to prompt the user for a product line before we run the report. So to create a parameter, simply just select the parameter button in the toolbar. And then we'll name it line. And we'll, we'll call the label for it. So it prompts the user, select product line and then we'll choose the control type that we want to display for the user so do we want them to interact with a drop down list a single list a radio button control checkbox multi button selection or text box so I'm just going to select a drop down now to populate the control we need a query or to so I can fill in the values for the for the list so what we're going to do is add a query, and I'm just going to add a simple query here. We'll preview it. Oops, the product line. Lines. Okay, and then okay. I can name it, we'll say line list. Okay, and you'll notice that inside here I'll, you'll see the line list. Um, again, it has a um, ID value, so if you had a, if I wanted to have like a customer number and then display the customer names, I could do that so that when I select my customer name, it'll send the ID through to the query. We'll send that parameter down. So I'm just going to choose um, the value type to be a string for this. Hit OK, and you'll notice that the parameter is added um, to the parameters section. Now what I need to do is parameterize my query. So I'm going to go to my sample data query and just add a simple where clause to the statement. So where The, how we define the parameter. Then inside, inside and I'll just hit OK. And then what you'll notice is when I go to preview now, I won't get any data because I don't have anything for that report. But then as I make selections, you'll notice that um, I get the motorcycles, ships, trains classic cars. So this is how you create a parameterized report inside the new designer.